because God is gracious to us. Amen. That he will allow us to get up to see a brand new day. A day that we have never seen before. And we won't see it after. Whatever is said and done in this day is recorded in heaven. Every day God allow us to get up and to live and move and have our being. Amen. That's a day that we'll never see before. That is only one particular day. Amen. Amen. So God is good and he's merciful and he's kind. And so we thank him for this day that he has allowed us and afforded us another opportunity to worship and come together. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you. We are grateful, God, that you have blessed us one more day, this day, not tomorrow. Yesterday is gone. But this day, we thank you, Father, for your loving kindness and your tender mercies. We thank you that you watched over us all night long. You kept a watch. Hallelujah. And you preserved us, God, for this day. Hallelujah. And we thank you, Lord God, that you have purpose for us in this day. Hallelujah. So, God, now as we, Lord God, look into uh, your word, God, another opportunity to look into your word, Lord God, for, 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 uh, a time of refreshing, Lord God, and in time, Lord God, to renew ourselves in your word. We thank you for the word that has been prepared for this day. Hallelujah. Anoint me, God. Hallelujah. To bring forth your word out of my spirit. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost, have your way. Lord, hide me behind the cross. Have the preeminence in the name of Jesus. Cause this word to be sharp. Cause it, Lord God, to saturate. Cause this word, God, to find a hiding place in the hearts of your people. Lord God, that they might not sin against you. Hallelujah. Cause us to rise up to the level of where you want us to be. In the name of Jesus. God, we thank you now, Lord God, that you cause us, Lord God, to hear what the Spirit of the living God is saying to your church today through this word. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you now. Hallelujah. Cause this word to bring joy to our hearts. Hallelujah. God, we thank you. We praise you and we bless your holy and wonderful and matchless name. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Give God praise today. Hallelujah. Because he let me rise up. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. He's merciful. Hallelujah. We are looking today in the book of Isaiah, the prophet of God. Isaiah chapter 40. Amen. The prophet of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And we will be looking at, in chapter 40 of Isaiah, we will be looking at verse 49, amen, as our subject scripture. Thank you, Jesus. And today, amen, our subject will be, no time to faint. Trust God. Hallelujah. Amen. No time. To faint. Trust God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And our topic scripture, amen, in verse 29 says, He gives power to the faint. I'm in the amplified. He gives power to the faint and weary. And to him who has no might, he increases strength, causing it to multiply. Hallelujah. Making it to abound. Amen. So far the scriptures say ah. Pause and calmly think on that. You may be sitting in the presence of God. Hallelujah, Jesus. And if you would permit me, amen, for a few moments, amen, to give you a little history on what was going on in Israel at the time. 
that Isaiah rose, amen, and gave words to Israel. The years in Israel's history were times of great struggle, both politically and spiritually. The northern kingdom of Israel was deteriorating uh, politically and spiritually and militarily, and finally fell to the Assyrian Empire in 722 BC, which is before Christ. The southern kingdom of Judah looked as though it too would collapse and fall to the Assyrians, but withstood the attacks. In this uh, political struggle and spiritual decline, Isaiah the prophet rose to deliver a message to the people of Judah. His message was that they should trust in God who had promised them a glorious kingdom through Moses and David. Isaiah urged the nation not to rely on Egypt or any other foreign power, amen, to protect them for the Lord was the only protection they needed. That's what was going on in the time that Isaiah rose Amen. To become a prophet of God. In our day and age, our world has declined spiritually, morally, and politically. Our world is riddled with sin everywhere. Corruption in government and in employment and churches. Hallelujah. 
pharmacy. Amen. So I got to get over there and get them. Amen. And take one, I'll feel better. No, God. God. Hallelujah. God. Not to a pill. Not to a arm of flesh. Not to your doctor. Not to the government. Not to your boss. God. That's right. He is our help. Amen. The Bible said he's our help. Amen. 
Yes. In verse 31. Yes. Hallelujah. Ah, God. I love you, Jesus. Let's, let's go to 31st. Even the youth, it says, let's see, verse 30, it says, even the youth shall faint and be weary, and selected young men shall feel, um, shall feebly stumble and fall, in, uh, fall exalted, exhausted. But those, verse 31, but those, come on somebody, but those, hallelujah, who wait, my God Jesus, but those who wait, woo, Jesus, but those who wait, my God Jesus, hallelujah, he says, I amplify those who wait on the Lord.
said, hallelujah. <laughs>
God trusts him. It don't matter what the situation is. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So, amen, we shall mount up. Amen. With wings like an eagle. My God, Jesus. Ah, thank you. Oh, they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And so, amen. We will have power, amen, if we trust God. That's right. Hallelujah. God will see us through every issue if we wait in his promises, yeah. wait in his scriptures, his word, and then wait, amen, in peace and not frantic. Wait in hope, amen. Wait, wait. I say on the Lord, and again I say wait. Hallelujah. Jesus made it possible. Amen. Hanging on the cross, the cross of Calvary. Yes. Amen. As a condemned man. Yes. My God. He made it possible when he went to Calvary's cross as a condemned man and shed his life's blood. Amen. Thank you, Lord, that mankind would believe in him and obey the word of God, that they would not perish, but have eternal and everlasting life. Amen. He went to that cross, a condemned man, but he got Whatever they are, God is the only one that can help us. We gotta reach up to God. 